We talk about the principal book. So this is the third stage now, the principal book. We started from source document to the subsidiary books. Now we are talking about the principal books. Now, the ledger is regarded as the principal book of account or the main book of account. Transactions from the subsidiary books are posted into specific ledgers and summarize in the led general ledger. So from your source documents, you capture those transactions, you record those transactions in your subsidiary books. Then from your subsidiary books, you also post them into what? Your ledger. And from your ledger, you summarize them into your general ledger. Now, what is a general ledger? A general ledger comprises the list of all the ledgers usually arranged using a chart of accounts. Charts of accounts. So, what is a chart of accounts? So, the general ledger is one big book that shows all the ledgers that the company is using to record all these transactions. Now, you do that because using the chart of account you have created. So what is a chart of account? A chart of account is that standard listing of all accounts in the general ledger based on the classification of accounts of an entity. So it is that what standard listing of all accounts in the general ledger based on the classification of accounts of an entity. Now, let's give you a practical example of how a chart of accounts looks like. So this is one chart of account for property, plant, and equipment. So this is a technical name, property, plant, and equipment, which is under non-current assets. Now, before we call it fixed assets, but now it's called what? Non-current asset. Non-current asset simply means that these are items that you are not going to use within just 12 months. So it's span across several years, one or two or more years. So such assets are classified as what? Non-current assets. So non-current asset, you now have this technical name called what? Property, plant, and equipment. So you can see the code here is what? 10000. That is the code. Now, under that code, you will now have land as a class. So all items relating to land, if you want to post them or you want to see them, you have to come to 10010. So that is where you see all land. Then you now have 10020. That is where you now have building. Then uh, 030, motor vehicle. 040, you know? Furniture fitting. So that is a standard way of classifying or categorizing the ledgers. So for each of these accounts, when you open them, you see details of all the land that the company has or the organization has. The second building 
all the buildings, the third one, all the vehicles are recorded in that um, chart of account. Now, you remember we talked about journals using journals to correct errors or reclassify or passing adjustments. So here, if somebody mistakenly post motor vehicle into land, how do you correct it? You will use a journal to remove the motor vehicle from land and bring it back to motor vehicle. So for you to correct errors, you use journals. Now, you see, the next one is called accumulated depreciation property, plant, and equipment. You see the first one here is 10000. This one is what? 10001. Then you can see land. Here it is 10. Here is now 11. So when you bought the land is in 11. If you do anything to the land, it will not come to 10011. The same thing for building. When you bought the building is here. If you depreciate the building, it is also here. So this is how this is the standard way that organizations are expected to maintain the accounts. Now, this is for property, plant, and equipment. Let's look at for printing expenses so that we see how it works. So for instance, this one now is uh, operating expenses. And you see the, the, the head account is what? Six zero 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 zero. That is the head of that account. Their account head. Then you now have six zero 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 one. So all the salaries paid, you see them here. That is how you have them up to six zero zero two eight. So each of the expenses that the organization incurs. They have their specific ledgers that they will record, they will use in recording those uh, items. So that is a uh, chance to the account.